Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to integrate AEM assets with Edge Delivery Services. If you have already worked with Edge Delivery Services or following this series, you must be knowing we add assets from our machine to documents. But this is not a feasible solution in real world. We cannot have assets on local machines. So generally in real world, these assets go through a review and approval process. But this edge delivery services doesn't provide any workflow to review and approve assets. And it doesn't provide any asset repository like asset management. So in real world, we generally keep assets in any asset management solution like it can be AEM assets or Viva or as per your clients, uh, the, as per the solutions your client has. But if you are working on edge delivery services, so this is certain your client would have access to AEM as a cloud service. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how to integrate those. Edge delivery services provide a out of the box way to integrate AEM as a cloud service or AEM assets. If you are using AEM 6.5, you have to write your own implementation. Guidelines have been provided. You could follow and write your integration, but that's definitely possible. But for AEM as an asset and AEM as a cloud service, edge delivery services provide a out of the box way. We'll see that. Right, so as I said, the two type are supported with edge delivery services out of the box. It's AEM as a cloud service or AEM asset essential means AEM assets. So how do we do that? If you have already seen or if you have already watched the last tutorial, where did I explain in detail how to customize Sidekick? So before this tutorial, you must see that tutorial because we will customize Sidekick and add a button to integrate AEM assets there, right? Uh, please go back and check tutorial number 17 of this series. Only come back and see this, right? So uh, here we will add a action or a button to Sidekick which will trigger a login to your account, Adobe account, AEM as a assets or AEM as a cloud service. And we will open that once you log in as per your account as per your access the assets would be available on the palette if you have a multiple accounts so both it will ask you it will give you a workflow login workflow normal as you log into your adobe account okay but so what we do in plugin section we would add an entry here again for one action ID could be anything, but it should be unique among all the entries available, all the actions you added. Title, whatever title you need. Environment, on which environment you want to, you know, available, you want this integration to be available. Generally, because we add assets, so it, we are okay, I mean, it should be available only on edit mode, right? Edit is enough. I added dev here just to show you. You can add other environments, but added should be enough important is this url whatever the implementation is there that is on that url url should be this only this has two variants i'll explain that and that's it pass configuration you can say it's true uh, pass referral true include path you don't need to i add it important is this palette true it should be in parallel because we want those assets should open parallel to my page means open on my page itself open on my document itself because I need to copy assets from palette to my document so say palette is equal to true and the palette side and that's it you are good to go that's it there are only two variants here in this URL by default this this there's two things either you can simply see those assets or you can see this tree like structure so by default tree like structure is disabled and so if you want to enable that what you have to say you have to say rail is equal to false by default rail is equal to true if you don't add it it will show i'll show you both okay now let's quickly get into a demo let me show you how you can do that so I added a, along with all, all the actions I added in last tutorial, I added another one. If you see here, I'm saying this, whatever the properties I explained, I added those here. I only mentioned edit. If you want, you can add a dev as well. It's completely your choice, but it would be useful only on added when we added those documents. Now, let me push those. As I said, 
these changes would be only available when you push your changes to a github means git repo in your main branch okay let me push those so i have pushed all the changes now let me open git uh, this let me refresh this let me open any page here any document and let's refresh and if you see here see this new button has been available now it's am asset right now when you open this let me open a page like carousel where i can add those images now when i click on this let's say click so now if you see this palette now now this palette is available you see this is open because i i already had logged in my cookies were set already that's why i log in let me clear cookies let me clear my cache and let's click so now click on this button and it would ask you to log in log in with your adobe credentials log in with your credentials and again it will log in you same as you log into your uh, account let's say personal and then again it would show all the accounts you have all the access you have you log in as per your need like let's say i log in to this and now see again this is available right all the things all available all the assets are available let's say i want to copy this say this as soon as click it would copy and you can replace that asset here let's say paste here and now asset is available on your page you can add like this now there's a one more variant you see here there are assets available if you want to see those assets as a tree like structure in more detail folder structure then what you can do then you just need to add let me show here here say rail is equal to false so i did rail is equal to false and let's push this so i have pushed those changes now let me refresh this and click so now you see here now this folder structure is available here so now you can uh, select any particular folder and choose assets from there again you can change the size of it by providing the width if you see here so you can change the site if you see your site is pretty small you can extend your height and width as per your need basically you would be increasing width as per your need right so that way you can integrate aem assets with edge delivery services i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you